power created by violence and intimidation, murder and torture. They loved killing. That's what they did. I mean, they loved it. Who were the Corleonesi? A mafia clan from Corleone, Sicilia. Started by Luciano Leggio, known as, as the Peasants. The clan murdered the way to the top. They committed thousand murders and they dominated Sicilia in the 80s and the 90s. Don Michel Navarra was the boss of Corleone with his right hand man Leggio. Leggio set his boss up and murdered Navarra with the Corleonese clan. The member were Luciano Leggio, Totorina, Bernardo Provenzano and Baccarella. In the 60s the crew was hiding for the murder of Navarra. But in 1969 Leggio and Rina were arrested for the murders. But they were eventually acquitted through intimidation and threats against the jury and judges. In 1974 Luciano Leggio was arrested and imprisoned for the murder of Michel Navarra 16 years earlier. Slowly, Leggio lost leadership of the Corleonesi. Arena now became the effective head of the family in the international heroin trade. Sicilian occupied a key position, particularly in the refending and exporting of the narcotics. Profits from the heroin trade were many times higher than those from the traditional activities, such as extortion, loan sharking, and construction projects. Under the leadership of Salvatore Rina, waged a brutal and bloody war against the other Sicilian families. From 1978 to 1983, with the aim of monopoly on the mafia practices in Sicily. This mafia war is known as the Second Mafia War, and the Corleonese family managed to take over the Sicilian Mafia Commission, and thus forced a Christian dictatorship over the entire Cosa Nostra for a long time. The Corleonese Primarily rivals were Stefano Montade, Salvatore Isilio, and Toto Balenamente, bosses of various powerful Palermo mafia families. Between 1981 and 1983, Montado and Serilio, together with many associates and members of both the mafia and bot families, were killed. There were up to thousand killings during this period as Rina and the Corleonese together with their alliance wiped out the rivals. In February 1980, Thomas Bruschetta fled to Brazil to escape the brewing Second Mafia War, instigated by Rina. Various Rina's predecessors had kept a low profile, leading some of law enforcement to question the very existence of the Mafia. Rina ordered the murders of judges, policemen and prosecutors in an attempt to terrify the authorities. In May 1982, the Italian government sent Carlo Alberto Dallicesa, a general of the Italian Cablianeri, to Sicily with orders to cross the Mafia. However, not long after arriving on September 3, 1982, he was gunned down in the city center with his wife, Emanuel Sette. Buscetta was arrested in Sao Paulo, Brazil, once again on October 23, 1983, extradited to Italy on June 28, 1984, Buscetta asked to talk to anti-mafia judge Giovanni Falcone and began his life as an informant. Referred to the Pentito, Buscetta was the first high-profile Sicilian mafioso to become an informant. He felt that the mafia was a single organization led by the commission, or Cupola. Buscetta helped judges Falcone and Paolo Borsellino achieve significant success in the fight against organized crime that led to 475 Mafia members indicted and 338 convicted in the Mafia Maxi trial. On May 23, 1992, Falcone, his wife, Francesca Morvelle and three police officers died in the Capisi bombing on Highway 825 outside Palermo. Two months later, Borsellino was killed along with five police officers in the entrance to his mother's apartment, blocked by car bomb via the Demelio. Both attacks were ordered by Rina. On January 15, 1993, Cobinieri arrested Rina at the villa in Palermo. He had been a fugitive for 23 years. After Rina was captured, Provenzano took over the family. Provenzano was finally captured in April 11, 2006 by the Italian police near his hometown, Corleone. After the arrest of Provenzano, the power of Corleone was 
this is the made it.